I'm Teresa with Toto Mag Beats. Join me today in making my mandala pendant with a lot of playing seed beads and metal microspacers. Let's get to the beads and start working. We will start making this pendant with the Rivoli bezel. I'm using 10 mm Rivoli and I will be using first Delicas and then 15 0 beads. I'm also using Wildfire uh, 0.006 and size 12 needle. I uh, cut quite a long thread, like an arm span or even longer if you are feeling comfortable to work with such a long thread. Uh, and probably I will have to add more anyway. And we will start with 26 delicas on your thread and go with your needle after you move the beads to the end of your thread leaving like 10 centimeter tail go through the last bead to make a circle now we will continue with peyote so if you haven't done this before watch some of our videos so I'm picking one delica, skipping next bead, going through the next one. We have more details, detailed video on this, so definitely check that out if you're struggling. Then pick another delica, skip a bead and go through the next one. So like this I will go around the full circle, adding 13 beads in total. And uh, when I'm adding, when I edit the last one, I will step up through this bead and make another row. So I'm currently adding the last bead, and at the same time, I'm also stepping up through the first bead edit in this row, and I will start making a second row of delicas. So I'm picking one delica again and going through the bead which is sticking out and like this I will again go around finish this row I will step up and then I will switch to 15 rows so create a one row with delicas one more row and then one row with 15 rows and then we will insert the crystal and move over to the back after you finish the 15 row go through the beads so my 15 the last one was this one and then i went through this this and this delica to the back side then i want to insert the rivoli uh, since our uh, front and back will be the same it doesn't matter which way but i usually tend to work first on the front and then on the back and if your tension is like mine, you should be fine with one row, 15, uh, one row of 15 rows in the front and one row of 15 rows in the back. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm closing the back side with the POD row of 15 rows. If you have different tension, if it's a bit too loose for you, you can add two rows of the 15 rows on the back. That's totally fine. I can show you here on this example so this is a front so I have one row of 15 rows here and this is back and I have also one row of 15 rows on the back so I will be finishing this and then I will move up through the beads again to the second row of delicas from the top let me just check yes so here in the second row from the top, right uh, underneath the 15 rows, you'll be adding to the caps uh, more 15 rows and starting to work on the herringbone stitch. So this is the front and this is the back. And I already stepped up through the beads to the second row of delicas from the top. So now when I turn it like this, there's a gap right underneath the first row of relicas and that's where we will be putting 15 rows. I'll be using the same color as is my delica bezel and we'll be working now with herringbone stitch. So pick 
two fifteenos and go to the next delica in the row and like this go around uh, the whole bezel and then you will go once more you will step up again through this first bead so after finishing the row go through the first bead of the first pair now we will do the same but with delicas so pick two delicas go through the second bead position the beads and go through the first bead of the next pair and continue like this around the whole thing it's herringbone I already applied this technique to the radiant sunburst earrings so you can check them out if you have issues so go around like this and when you again finished here step up through the 15 -0 here and also the first delica here to get to the next row and then you will also add second row of the delicas so now work with two rows of delicas and then we will add the micro spacers and more beads so after finishing the delica row delica rows actually so we have one row of 15 o's and two row of delicas so i'm stepping up and like this now we need to add the micro spacers and also the little bridges between the micro spacers so put on one delica when of course when your thread is exiting from the first beat put on one delica three fifteenos and one delica slide it down skip the last delica we added and then go through the three fifteen rows the delica here and the second bead of the pair then pick micro spacer uh, in the correct way so through the lower hole and from me i am picking it from the left you want the dent for the crystal to be facing the front it will sit between the pairs of the delicas and go through the first bead of the next delica pair and then continue like this so always pick one delica three fifteen o's one more delica and skip the just edit delica and go through the three fifteen o's the delica and delica here the second one from the pair pick another micro spacer and go through the first delica in next pair and like this go fully around so what do you want to do next after adding the last micro spacer is that you will go up through the delica and the 15 o's and then also go through the last bead through the delica it doesn't matter to which side i will go to the left because that's my uh, natural way of sewing and we will be adding more 15 o's i will continue working with the purple ones so pick three 15 o's and go through the hole of the micro spacer then pick three more 15 o's and go through the hole of the delica and like this you go around always picking three 
and going either through the microspacer or the Delica. So in total you have six beads on each side of the microspacer. Uh, we are working with Miyuki's. They are slightly smaller than Toho's and even based on the finish it might happen that for example it happened to me with the galvanized gold that the beads are slightly smaller in some finishes even even though they are like mostly uniform it can happen that one bead will hide in the eye of in the loop of the spacer so if it happens please add seventh bead so we have six and if one gets hidden into the loop at seventh so you don't have like a gap here between the beads you will see it immediately when it hides so just go back through the Delica and add one more bead so we are consistent symmetrical and everything is working out and just go around watching for this possible mistake otherwise add six beads on each side uh, add six beads in total three beads on each side of the microspacer so you should finish with the last three beads by going through the Delica. Now you'll be adding one Delica at a time, which will sit on the next one. So we need to first get there, so we will go a few times through the 15 O's. So go through the six 15 O's and the microspacer between them. So you are right next to the Delica. Pick a Delica and go through the next set of the 15 O's and the microspacer. This will allow us in the next row to use peyote stitch and add more beads. So pick always one delica that will sit on the one between the microspacers and go around like that. I would recommend not to pull so hard so everything is lying still flat so really don't try to pull too much. If you see the pendant trying to wave a bit and being a bit stiff uh, put it down, make it flat again and don't pull too tight. In the next row, we'll be adding picots from Delicas and 15 O's. You want your thread currently be exiting uh, out of the 15 O right behind the microspacer. Then you pick one Delica, one 15 O, and one Delica, and go through the Delica here in the middle. Rearrange the beads if you need to so that the 15 o is sticking out. And do the same also on the other side. So pick Delica, 15 o Delica. And then go through the 15 o's and the microspacer. The 15 o's right next to the microspacer, the one before and the one behind. again rearrange the beads and like this go around the whole uh, rivoli after this after going back through the last microspacer step up through the first delica and the first 15 o edit in this row then we will do something similar in this but we'll be picking two 15 O's, one Delica, and two more 15 O's. And going through the 15 O tip of the next Pico, adjust the Delica again so it's sticking out. And go around like this, picking four 15 O's in total and one Delica between them adjusting always to Delica 
and like this go around the whole circle with the last step you can step up through the two 15 rows and the delica which were added first now we need to add between the delicas four millimeter round so between each delica going just through the tips then I'm adding one four millimeter crystal and like this go around again after this we are ready for another row so your thread after stepping up should be coming out out of a crystal and now we will be adding always one delica uh, between the crystal so pick one delica and go through the next crystal uh, I would recommend not pulling too much because uh, the space between the two crystals now is a bit larger than for the lower delica so there will be just a tad of uh, thread showing but it is okay and we will be using it later so don't pull too hard so it doesn't get too curvy and it will stay flat and nice and go around this uh, full in full circle and ink one delica at a time after finishing this row we will be adding a 15 nose around the crystal so you want your thread to be exiting out of the delica one of the delicas we added so step up again and now we will be uh, working with 15 nose you can decide which color you want i will be switching back to the, to the purple one and now pick six 15 nose Six, and go over the crystal to the next delica the beads will lie over the crystal and then you can pick six more and continue like this around the whole pendant for the next step we just need to make sure uh, that these little bridges over the crystals are not moving uh, in front or in the back so what we will do is we will always go through all the 15 o's and then you will skip the delica but you will go instantly into this into the next next bridge at the edge and like this you will go around the whole piece <coughs> and then the embellishments should stay in one line and they won't move anymore when you are finishing this step and when you're reaching um, this was the point where I started I went only through five instead of all those six 15 o's so prepare your thread coming out at this uh, point now we need to make a bail for this pendant and I decided that I will try something like an odd count peyote you can try and do also herringbone or just a loop to uh, put there just a jump ring and I will try the odd count which means I will start with one delica and I am going through the second bead from the other bridge on the other side I'm picking one more delica and going back through it one more delica and going again through the second bead of the first bridge or the fifth one if depends how 
you want to see that and now I need to get here so I can continue so I'm going to the left through the Delica again through the second beat of the next bridge and then up here through this Delica now I'm ready to pick another bead and go here now it's easy picking another Delica and going like normal peyote and then I need to pick another Delica and I will be going down instead and now I need to get to the point where my thread is coming out of this Delica this way so this is not very an odd count peyote like a tutorial and what I'm just doing is I'm picturing in my mind a thread path which will get me to this point so if you can do odd count peyote that's good and definitely use the rules I am in my head picturing the th thread path you can also do brick stitch now it's starting to be the same always adding the middle delica then something like a normal peyote then when you are adding the third delica you go down then you need to get through this bead the bead underneath back outside again and up so we can add more And like this it goes around and then it depends uh, what you will or where you will hang it from so it depends how big the bale should be on the rope you are using So create a bale which is large enough for your intended rope and then we will fold it, connect it together, glue the crystals and then the pendant is done. When you reach the length you need, you need uh, finish that there is a delica missing here in the middle, fold over the bale and fold it towards the first delica we started from and go through the delica and then to the third bead and that should connect all the delicas you can also connect them on the sides so I am going when you look at it from the side to the bead sharing the middle delica now I'm getting to the other side and connecting also this bead on the side 
and now I need to go somewhere and not off the thread cut it hide also this part and then the pendant is done and I will glue in the crystals and then all is finished and this is how it looks when everything is finished I glued the crystals in and this is it this is the mandala pendant so you will need micro spacers the number one for the SS12 chatons you will need a revolve 10 mm size delicas uh, 15 o's I chose two colors you can choose only one and four millimeter round uh, potomac crystal and that's it so thank you very much for watching if you want to make your pendant uh, you can visit the description underneath the video there are the links uh, which will take you to the stores if you need to purchase something uh, if you make the pendant it will make us super happy if you post the pictures into our beading and jewelry making group on facebook and i'll be happy if i see you next time during some other our videos thank you very much for watching and bye